Over 90% of world's trade is carried by the international shipping industry. Without shipping, the import and export of goods on the scale necessary for the modern world would not be possible. Seaborne trades continues to expand, bringing benefits for consumers across the world through low and decreasing freight costs. Thanks to the growing efficiency of the shipping as a mode of transport and increased economic liberalization, the prospects for the industry's further growth continues to expand. There are around 50,000 merchant ships trading internationally, transporting every kind of cargo. The world fleet is registered in over 150 nations and manned by over a million seafarers of virtually every nationality. There are different types of ship in the world of merchant fleet. There are container ships, which carry most of the world's manufactured goods and products, usually through scheduled liner services. This ship carries their entire load in truck-sized intermodal containers, in a technique called containerization. They are all common means of commercial intermodal freight transport and now carry most sea-going non-bulk cargo. Container ship capacity is measured in 20-foot equivalence units, TEU. Typically, loads are a mix of 20-foot and 40-foot ISO standard container. Bulk carriers, or as they say, the workhorses of the fleet, or Balker, is a merchant ship specially designed to transport loose cargoes, in example, without any specific packaging to it, and generally contains items like food grains, ores and coals, and even cement. Since their inception towards the mid-19th century, bulk vessels have been revolutionized and streamlined in order to facilitate greater ease for their owners and operators presently. Tankers transport crude oil, chemicals, and petroleum products. Tankers can appear similar to bark carriers, but the deck is flush and covered by oil pipelines and vents. Tankers were first used by the oil industry to transfer refined fuel in bulk from refineries to customers. This would then be stored in large tanks ashore and subdivided for delivery to individual locations. The use of tankers caught on because other liquids were also cheaper to transport in bulk, store in dedicated terminals, then subdivide. Different products require different handling and transport, with specialized variants such as Chemical tankers, oil tankers, LNG carriers, developed to handle dangerous chemicals, oil and oil-derived products, and liquefied natural gas, respectively. Among oil tankers, super tankers are designed for transporting oil around the Horn of Africa from the Middle East. That is an example of a cruise ship or cruise line. This ship is a passenger ship used for pleasure voyages, where the voyage itself and the ship's amenities are part of the experience, as well as the different destinations along the way. Transportation is not the prime purpose, as the cruise ships operate mostly on the routes that return passengers to their originating port, so the ports of call are usually in a specific region of a continent. There are specialized ships like this icebreaker. 
An icebreaker is a special purpose ship or boat designed to move and navigate through ice-covered waters. Although the term usually refers to icebreaking ships. For a ship to be considered an icebreaker, it requires three traits most normal ships lack. A strengthened hull, an ice-clearing ship, and the power to push through sea ice. A tugboat or a tug is a boat that maneuvers vessels by pushing or towing them. Tugs move vessels that either should not move themselves, such as ships in crowded harbor or a narrow canal, or those that cannot move by themselves, such as barge, disabled ships, log rafts, or oil platforms. Tugboats are powerful for their size and strongly built, and some are ocean-going. Some tugboats serve as icebreakers or salvage boats.
get surplus and lower the export. And then we'll get, if there will be an inspection before the state control in South Africa. So how about after inspection? Let's see about it. Hey, what's for dinner? Sooner or later, you'll become a 
When I was working on a purifier, many of my colleagues judged me for being for being me, for being a Filipino. Fire. Well, I 
go now, mate. I have so many things to do. Well, the next time. Thank you. Bye. I remember that. I'm just wondering, what did I exceed you with one round? Simply because I was married. I enjoyed my first year of honeymoon. One year? Yeah, one year. I, saw what, I see what you did there. One year? Yes, one year. I see what you did there. I only last for one hour. What the fuck?